So in today's video, we'll be discussing a $12 million lawsuit that was recently resolved between designer Judy A. Jurasek and Capcom. Now before we start, I do want to preface this video by stating that all this information was taken from Polygon's article written by Nicole Carpenter, which I'll actually leave a link down below, and the article also has access to some of the images that were used in the lawsuit, which I'll also be referencing. So feel free to check that link once you're done watching the video. So this past Friday on February 4th, Judy Jurasek filed her lawsuit in Connecticut where she accused Capcom of stealing her photographs and using her photographs in several Capcom games like Resident Evil 4 and Devil May Cry to name a few. Now the photographs that were taken are actually from Jurasek's book called Surfaces which was published back in 1996 and it was a book that had more than 1,200 photographs, textures, and it was a book designed to give fellow artists like designers inspiration. And of course if anybody wanted to use any of her photographs they would have to contact her directly. The book also came with a CD-ROM. Though the issue here is that what Capcom did was they didn't take just inspiration, it was more of a complete ripoff. In other words, like more of a copy and paste issue without Jurasek's knowledge or consent. Now Jurasek had evidence of 80 photographs and over 200 examples where her photography was used in Capcom games. But Polygon's article does highlight two examples that were pretty blatant, such as the Resident Evil 4 logo, the 4 in the logo was clearly taken from Jurasek's photograph that she took of a broken window in Italy. And she quotes in the article, It is hard to imagine that Jurasek would take a photo of shattered glass in Italy, an interior mansion door design, and that Capcom artists would reproduce the exact same pattern of shattered glass in a logo and interior design without benefit of Jurasek's photographs, she said in the lawsuit. End quote. The second example that was highlighted in Polygon's article was a texture called ME009 from her book Surfaces and the accompanying CD-ROM that can actually be seen in Resident Evil 1 Remake and as well as in Resident Evil 4. And thanks to Capcom's data breach back in November of 2020, Jurasek was actually able to see that Capcom had a folder of their textures and one of the folders was named ME009, which was the exact same name of the texture that can be found in the book, Surfaces, and the accompanying CD that it came with. Which just goes to show that this was a copy and paste issue and that Capcom didn't even change the name of this texture that they clearly took. And those are just two of the many examples that she had. Now this is a quote from Polygon's article regarding the amount that Jurasek's legal team were asking the court in the lawsuit. Jurasek's lawyers are asking the court to award her up to $12 million in damages on account of copyright infringement. She's also seeking damages from false copyright management and removal of copyright management. $2,500 to $25,000 for each used photograph. But luckily on February 7, 2022, and this is a statement from Jurasek's legal team, Capcom and Judy Jurasek have amicably resolved their dispute concerning the alleged use of Ms. Jurasek's photos in Capcom's games. A dismissal was filed on February 7, 2022 with the District of Connecticut to end the lawsuit. So Capcom and Jurasek's legal team settled the matter outside the court and no specifics were given to us to how much or how the matter got resolved, but as stated by Jurasek's legal team, it did get amicably resolved. Anyways, that's it for the story. I thought it was interesting. I think it's a shame that Capcom got away with using other people's work for years without giving credit or asking permission, but I'm really glad that it got resolved. And that's why I thought I should relay this information. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And side note, I also think it was quite funny that one of the Jurasex lawyer's last name is actually Winter. Kind of like Ethan Winters from, you know, Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8. Though it's totally unrelated, but I do think that that's funny. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to knife that like button. And if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest Resident Evil news, don't forget to shoot that subscribe button in the face and also remember to punch that notification bell like Chris does in Resident Evil 5 so that you guys never miss a video. Thank you so much everyone for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one when you return to the world of Resident Evil. The right to be a god. That right is now mine.